The push to ban books from schools and libraries is accelerating across the country, including with a law in the Ohio State House. Two News reporter Allison Gens is here in the studio with how libraries and experts in the Miami Valley are weighing in during Banned Book Week. Brooke, the experts I talked to say banning books has been ongoing since the Middle Ages, but more recently it's gotten attention in the U.S. because of attempts by lawmakers on both sides to ban books deemed inappropriate. Now, the Dayton Metro Library says they use this week instead to celebrate the freedom to read. We want something for everyone that they like and enjoy and agree with, and we want something that, that offends everybody. Um, that if, if we've done that, then we have a balanced collection. Dayton Metro Library does on occasion receive requests to have books removed from the shelves. Most of the time we, we find um, that the item is appropriate, at least for some audience. But the push to have books removed from libraries and classrooms nationwide is growing. That have to do with uh, transgenderism, LGBTQ+, uh, rights and, and, and activities, uh, pornography. Law professor with University of Dayton, Erica Goldberg, says books fall under the protection of the First Amendment. The government certainly cannot ban the general public from reading any particular book unless the book contains material that is not protected speech. But it's a gray area for schools, which can control what books students are assigned to read. They are allowed to do that, and basically as sort of politics ebbs and flows, you get different school boards with different views about what students should learn. However, Dayton Metro Library says banning books causes more harm than good. It helps kids think about what if my world were like that. Um, so that's part of what, you know, we're, 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 we're cutting people off from ideas when we ban, when we ban books. Ohio has a bill going through the state house right now that would ban divisive topics in schools. Now, Clausen says the wording of this bill is too vague and could be problematic. And Goldberg says it could help prevent schools or teachers from pushing one-sided opinions onto students. In the studio, Allison Gens, 5 on 2.